Welcome to Thor's Voltage Drop Calculator. Okay, starting off, we have these arrows here. They maneuver us through previously saved records. And so by clicking the right arrow, we'll go further down our list, or the left arrow, go closer to the first record saved. All right, so let's go ahead and choose record number three. And at this point, we can see what we've already saved had a starting voltage of 120 volts had a starting distance of 10 had a load amps of 20 amps and we're at 25 c 77 fahrenheit and an 80 percent power factor one phase copper and we're trying to keep the voltage drop within five percent we could also change it to a voltage up here. So by clicking it with the left mouse, we can increase that to five, six, five volts. Using clicking on the right mouse will decrease the number. Left mouse key will increase the number. Again, you can change it to actual voltage that you're trying to maintain maximum voltage drop for the distance or you can make it a percentage all right so at this point we've chose that we want to have a maximum of five volts drop and at this point we can see that the maximum length in feet at the allowable voltage drop is 50.87 feet so using using a 14 gauge wire the maximum distance we can go to maintain this voltage drop is 50 feet so if we increase the wire to 12 now we see we can go to 80 feet to maintain the 5 volt drop continuing if we go to 4 American wire gauge copper now we can go to 325 feet to maintain the 5 volts. Alright, let's do another one here. Let's go ahead and use 240 volts as our starting voltage and we want to go 200 feet and we want to maintain 45 amps. Notice what happened is we've automatically selected 6 American wire gauge. If I deselect the auto wire size, notice what happens is we have a note pops up that we have to pay attention to 31015B16 to get the wire size. Let's go ahead and, and drop it down to a 14 gauge and see what happens. Ah, the note points us points out that <clears throat> 14 wire gauge is undersized for the selected amperage. All right, so let's calculate it. And to get the 45 amps, if we were using 14 gauge wire, first of all, the code does not allow you to put 14, the code does not allow you to put 45 amps on 14 gauge wire. So let's click the auto wire size, and it says, aha we need a, a number 8 for 45 amps and that will allow us to go 90.83 feet but we wanted to go 200 so let's go ahead and increase our wire size to a 3 American gauge ah, we overshot it there let's go ahead and decrease it to 4 and that's about as close as we're going to get so to have a 5 volt drop voltage drop 45 amps at 240 volts then we're going to have to have a number four copper to get 229 feet and maintaining the five volts now if we wanted to do a print off we could do a print preview and now we can see what our print off is going to look like our company name our customer information 
and details about the wire. We're using copper wire at an 80% power factor. We have a starting voltage of 240. We start off with 45 amps. We want to maintain maximum amperage based on the wire size is 90. So that wire size allows 90 amps, but we're trying to maintain the 5 volts for the whole distance. So that will allow us to go 229 feet to maintain the 5 volts. And that will be a number 4 American wire gauge we'll be using. All right. So closing this out, we also have a Fahrenheit to uh, centigrade conversion here. Also, we can update our company information by clicking on Update Company and by clicking on this button we can update our company logo. Alright, this concludes our demo on how to use the voltage drop calculator.